I came to St George's because it's got a really good ethos and it's not just about the high-flying academic, it's about developing the whole person. And in particular, when I came here on interview, the girls were so curious about science, I thought that would be a great place to uh, continue my teaching career. Drama is a, is a tool to help them get to where they need to be, so things like confidence in public speaking, the empathy, understanding dynamics between people, about working under pressure, especially when we get into the latter stages of rehearsals and things like that. All those things are really relevant and can help girls in the future. I run a club called Space Invaders, um, which is kind of reminiscent for me, but the girls look at things like building rockets. We look at females that have gone into space, female scientists, and it's really based around that kind of space exploration. So we cover science, technology, uh, engineering and maths. It's really important that the girls understand that there is no one pathway that we aim to achieve with the girls once they leave St George's. We are open to the prospect of girls and encourage the girls to achieve what is right for them leaving the school. We look at different ways that we can engage students and we teach a range of theatrical techniques through different mediums. So for example, we'll look at real life issues as a topic. In the third year, we look at the idea of peer pressure and making the right choices and the right decisions. St George's is a school where the girls are extremely enthusiastic about drama. And so I'm able to challenge them with new things all the time. Things that are hard but achievable mean that the next time I ask them to do something, they push themselves a little bit further. That's part of what we do at St George's, it's to stretch and challenge. So these opportunities outside of just the classroom develop their essay writing skills, um, develop their confidence, um, and that's what, what we're trying to do. I run the debating club with the help of two sick ones. It's an important thing to be able to do to express your opinion, and that's of course where history and politics come in, is being able to explain why you think the things you do and not just make a statement. So they'll argue their point constructively, persuasively, and in um, a very structured way. So it's, it's fun, but it's skills that they'll need in real life. There's no real limit to what the girls can achieve in their week or indeed during their sit form experience. So whether it is leading, uh, being a key part of the chapel choir, being a, a, a significant figure in the model United Nations Club and going and competing against other schools in that environment, or taking part in a school musical for the very first time, there is the opportunity to do a variety of remarkable different things at St George's. We have a very busy and full extracurricular programme. The girls have a long day. The, the day girls will be here for a really full and vibrant clubs programme after school, and they do their prep here, so that, that both the day girls and the boarders are together um, until really supper time when, when the day girls go home. I wanted a school that cared, so that that whole reason for going into teaching, to help people, um, St George's gives you time to do that, because of the small classes, the timetable is such that you've got time to spend with students individually as well as after school as well. Our prize giving in the summer term is one of the happiest and proudest days in the school year. Tinged with a touch of sadness as we say goodbye to our outgoing upper sixth who we have encouraged and nurtured and stretched and challenged over the years. We hear about the fantastic range of activities that, and achievements that the girls have had in their time with us and also of the wonderfully exciting things in store for the girls, whatever their future may hold.